quite a headache. I spent the last two days doing eight hour shifts at a coffee shop with like no breaks and each night I had like three hours of sleep because I've been working on so much stuff. So I'm recuperating. So I know I've talked a lot about um, authenticity and being real with yourself and how that can be very self-loving. But I was talking to a friend of mine, Dan, last night about authenticity and how far to take that. Because I find that being authentic, so many people are still staying in the framework of what's socially acceptable. Like sometimes people push those limits, but oftentimes it's not past the limits of, of still what's in society. I find that I am... I don't want to say in a unique situation, but because of certain aspects of um, where my soul stems from, um, who I believe that I am on this planet and why I'm here on this planet, I feel like being my authentic self would definitely not sit in the framework of what's socially acceptable on the planet right now. And when I talk to my guides, I, you know, I've been told, be your truest authentic self because that's what you're here to be on this planet. And so, how do I say this without being weird? And see, there it is. There's that, that confining space. What is considered weird? Cons what's considered weird is what is socially acceptable. Um, because you've got, like, normal, and then you've got, like, interesting and quirky, and then you've got, like, the artistic, wild people, and then you've got, like, that's, that's weird. Like, that's socially really not normal, and that's when people start looking at you as just being kind of a freak. Um, some people would think that it was cool, and other, most people would be like, what is going on with that person, you know? So... When I was told by my guides this year to be completely authentically myself, fully, um, I took that very seriously, but I feel like I've only been expressing um, who I am in this lifetime as a human being. Um, for a little backstory, I, I believe in reincarnation, I, um, but not quite in the sense of karmically. Um, I believe that when you die, uh, you go back up to source, and then you choose the next experience you want to have. Um, so you can come down from anything from a tree to an extraterrestrial being, and, um, and that's your experience. And you can choose what dimension that's going to be in, um, and all of that. So I have been very connected, um, to my past lives, and also, um, my higher self. That's something I've been, um, that's been something I've been able to tap into, um, intuitively, but also through vision and, uh, different experiences with other, uh, people I have in my life who are extremely psychic. Um, and we've had these long in-depth conversations and there's been a lot of evidence to, uh, where my soul stems from. Um, what race of being I typically feel most at home, and um, things like that. Just to be completely open and honest, um, that race is not human. It's um, from a different dimension entirely. And so when I connected with gui my guides and goddess, goddesses, <laughs> um, deity, I guess, um, you know, they stated it's time for you to come fully into what you are most comfortable, your most, um, truest, authentic self. I knew they didn't mean as a human. They meant it as who I am on a soul level, which is being projected through a human body. So I understand that there's that experience and that's very, um, important to experience. But my purpose on this planet is to actually bring new energy new ideas and new ways of being onto the planet and the way I can do that fully is by being my authentic soul self and it's 
interesting because I've, I've really started to step into being a more full aspect of my human self. I've become more relaxed, I'm feeling more free, and that's wonderful, but I hear in the, you know, in the back of my head being like, you know this isn't fully what we were talking about. You aren't fully stepping into the whole picture of who you are. And you know, of course, it, it varies from day to day. Sometimes I like being in that human aspect that feels very comfortable, that feels really fun, and, and I like that, but other times I just, I don't feel like I'm being myself at all by by fitting into the uh, human stereotype of my expression. And I realized that that could bring a lot of interesting things with it, but I'm also getting to a place where I'm getting very excited about that, and it's feeling much more um, authentic to step into that space and honor that space within me as well. Um, I don't mean maybe like on an everyday basis, but to bring in that aspect and also not be ashamed of it. A lot of times I have a hard time being open with what I believe because I feel like most people would just be like, you're crazy or um, that's not cool or whatever. And of course, I having human feelings in this life, you know, that that resonates with me as something that would not be good. It would resonate as I won't be loved, I won't be accepted. And that's a very hard, scary place to be. Um, but in some ways, I still think I'm confining myself by just being in the human aspect. So this is something that I have really um, struggled with, especially since New Year's, because I'm like, well, what does that mean? What does it mean to be my full authentic self? Does that just mean wearing fun clothes and not censoring, you know, how I express myself emotionally and uh, in communication? Or does it really mean fully embodying who I see myself as on a much deeper level? Um, and it's it's going to be interesting to see how that comes through. I'm actually moving out at the end of the week or on Monday from this house. And I'm kind of seeing it as an opportunity to step into my full other self um, through my human expression. Because I really feel like the people in that house would be very honoring of that and very open to it. And actually think it was pretty cool. Um, so even though that's not really necessary, um, it will be easier to step into my authentic self with that energy around me. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed on the channel, I've already started just being much more open and expressive and even the way I'm dressing and doing different things, um, I feel is a reflection of me coming out of my emotional and physical shell and really just having fun with it and really expressing myself without limits. Um, I want to say that you can do that too. It, it's not necessary for you to stand within the social structures of how you express yourself. In fact, I think life and the world would get much more interesting if people were actually authentically expressing who they felt they really were. You know, get that crazy haircut, get the, you know, the wild makeup going and, and the fun clothes or on the other side if you feel like you are much more simplistic and that you don't want to deal with uh, the outer shell um, and what that means I think we should start going nude I think we should start expressing ourselves exactly how we see ourselves um, do the odd things that bring you joy even if you feel it's not socially acceptable because as soon as we all start expressing ourselves that way it will be then become socially acceptable to be authentic instead of fitting into a box. And I think that would be really, really beautiful. So I encourage you all to really step into what you think is actually your true authentic self. And again, putting it out on the line, that doesn't necessarily have to mean you are um, human um, or even a physical being. Um, but also, in balance with that, it's important to honor that in this life, you have chosen to be in the human expression. That is also something to honor. We have chosen this shell for this specific experience, you know, physically and emotionally and chemically. So don't forget to also explore your body and explore what it means to be human, because that was the purpose for coming onto the planet in this life. 
so that's exciting as well. So I think it's about balancing and expressing yourself on a soul level through the human experience. I think that's where it's going to become most authentic and most beautiful. So this is the beginning, or I'm kind of in the middle of it, but I feel like it's at the beginning, kind of at this precipice of really stepping into my true soul essence. And I'm really excited to see what the, where that takes me, because I honestly don't know. I, you know, I have this vision in my mind of what that might look like, but goddess knows what that could actually um, turn into or be a creation of. So I, I encourage everyone to start stepping into their truest, authentic self, not just, not just being confined by the human essence that you are in, but then also honoring it as well all about balance it's all about the experience and appreciating the experience you're having right now because no experience is wrong no experience um, shouldn't be happening everything you experience from feeling confined to feeling full expression is exactly what's supposed to happen and I think it's all very very beautiful and all exactly what needs to be because that's the point of the planet we are here to experience the universe. We are here to experience life and experience energy and experience the full range of everything. Um, and it is all very, very beautiful. So I hope you are. Come in.